Well, I, I think to understand the importance of it, you have to acknowledge that we're a metro area. Uh, we are not um, individual cities that exist within bubbles. Uh, you know, Dr. Dart had sent me earlier on in the pandemic a study that showed that uh, those cities that have the, the greatest rate of spread and are at the greatest risk are not necessarily the most densely populated in the United States. They are the cities that uh, have nearby communities that they have great uh, interaction with and human uh, travel to and from where those cities are not regulated anyway. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> that, that's Tulsa. Uh, unfortunately, we're the hub city in a region where there are still uh, cities that are choosing, I'll just say it, the political out rather than doing what medical professionals are begging them to do. Um, I've not always supported uh, mask ordinances or orders. I didn't early on in the pandemic. Really wasn't until uh, the summertime when our hospitals came to me and said, we need you to do this to slow the spread of the virus in this community so that we can keep up with providing treatment to people who need it. And when the medical professionals tell you what they need and you're an elected official for a community, I think you have a responsibility uh, to do something to address it. And uh, I'm very proud of the fact that we have a council in Tulsa that, again, wasn't going to vote for it. It was going to fail until they heard from the medical professionals. And then it passed overwhelmingly. And we've since updated it twice uh, in this most recent vote uh, on the week of Thanksgiving was unanimous. Uh, and I'm very proud of the fact that we have neighbors uh, in cities like Jinx, uh, Claremore, Sand Springs, Muskogee, uh, who have taken the time and bothered to listen to the medical professionals and then have acted on their guidance and haven't put that on the same plane as Facebook epidemiologists who have can cite some sham website and claim that that makes them an expert on the value of mask wearing uh, or how to slow the spread of this virus. Um, it is so important for us as a community, when you hear stories like you hear from these doctors today, when you hear Dr. Worley who has had a career uh, in the medical profession say that he's never seen the level of acuity that he sees in the ICU right now. And these are not random people, uh, faceless individuals, these are our neighbors in this region uh, who are being afflicted by this virus, who are suffering alone in a hospital bed with this virus because of the contagious nature of it, and all too many of whom are dying. And uh, as we've said before, in our hospitals just here in Tulsa, over two thirds of those patients are people who don't live in Tulsa. Uh, they're in communities outside the city of Tulsa who are coming here because we have the top tier facilities and professionals uh, in the region to treat them, the latest equipment to treat them. And I'm, I'm very grateful that we do have those facilities. But we need other communities to put politics aside and step up your game. Um, th this isn't about appealing uh, for your reelect. Uh, this is about doing what we have to do to save lives in this community. And you know, as grateful as I am for the cities that have done that, I am equally disgusted with those who have not. Thank you.